I've been wearing Tourmaster Solution 2.0 riding boots for several years. In fact, I think I'm on my third pair, and it's about time for them to be replaced. Maybe there's something else out there. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Man's Reviews. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at a brand new pair of boots from a company called Chronox. Never heard of them before. And uh, just to let you know right up front, Chronox is not sponsoring this video. They didn't pay me to make this video. But they did reach out to me and ask me if I would try a pair of their boots. So I said, hey, what the hell? Mine are about worn out. Uh, let's try it. And I'm going to open this up, see what's inside, and we'll take a look at them. And I'll give you just my first impression. And then we'll take them outside and try them on and take a ride and do all that stuff. Got to be careful not to hit my microphone. Okay, let's pull one of these out here and take a look at it. I don't need to pull both of them out. Okay. It actually looks very similar <laughs> of the Tourmaster Solution 2.0. It looks very, very similar. Has the same you know, uh, Velcro that opens up on the side. Very tight, I might add. Obviously new. And uh, has a zipper. So the closure works identical to my Solution 2.0. Um, let's take a look around the boot and see what, it, what else it has. It has... It does say waterproof on the side here. I, I see a little tag. It appears to have some reflective material on the side of the boot. I do not see any reflective material on the back of the boot. The um, There is, I guess what you could call, I don't know if that's really ankle protection. It looks like a vent of some kind. And it's got some plastic on it. and But it's it feels pretty soft. I can feel it from the inside of the boot. So I'm not going to go so far as to say that this boot provides the level of ankle protection that the Tourmaster does. The Tourmaster actually has a, feels like almost like a metal, piece of metal or something in there, pretty hard. Maybe it's plastic. I don't know. Um, I like the looks of them. They look nice. Uh, it has the little pleated front here. It's got their logo. Uh, you can see Chronox. I'm not. I may not be pronouncing that right. Chronox or Chronox or whatever. If you know, let me know in the in the comments down below. It does have um, a shifter, like a shift protection here to protect the what I assume is leather. I don't know. It's like a rubber on top of it. Pretty substantial. But what I'm not feeling is I'm not feeling any like a steel toe. I don't think these have a steel toe. So even though it's very, very stiff in there, the toe, the cap is very, very stiff. It, it does not feel like it has that toe box uh, protection that you would get on the Tourmaster. So the sole um, looks nice. It looks pretty thick and substantial and uh, soft rubber. I'm anxious to uh, test this out on some wet pavement because one of my biggest complaints about the Tourmaster is they are very slippery on wet pavement. They, the, the sole of their boots are not very grippy. I don't know if that's a word. So to me, it looks nice. Uh, I haven't tried it on yet, so I don't know how it fits. Uh, so I say let's take it uh, let's take it to, into my office where I can put these on, try them on, let you know how they fit. I did order the same exact size that I have for the Tourmasters. This is a size 11, which is also a 45 in Europe. Oh, and also the little label says they're made in Pakistan. There's actually quite a bit of motorcycle gear made in Pakistan and Vietnam and some of those countries. They look nice. I mean, I like the looks of them. They are a pretty full-size touring boot. I mean, they're uh, this feels pretty sturdy up here. Uh, it claimed they claim to be waterproof. I'll put that to the test. We'll hose them down and see if they 
if they do in fact uh, that feels like there's a vent here on the side I don't know if that's waterproof I assume it is so let's uh, let's get to the garage so I'm in my office I'm taking a look at these uh, boots you can see there's actually a very large piece of velcro that holds the two pieces together and a pretty nice zipper and a nice uh, leather gusset here the interior of the boots uh, is pretty softly lined, has a nice liner. However, the insole that they include with these boots is pretty thin. Uh, doesn't really provide any cushioning at all. I think you'd probably be better off replacing this. Here's the one that I added to my Tourmaster boots. It's an Air Plus. I think I got this at Walmart for like, I don't know, 10 bucks. Pretty cheap, but it's kind of a memory foam. And it does provide a lot more comfort than what comes in these boots. Now, by comparison, here are my old Tourmaster Solution 2.0. You can see they're pretty worn. Uh, there is a reflective panel on the heel. And this is that heel protector I was telling you about. It seems like it's pretty hard. I don't know if it's a hard plastic or a metal piece in there. Uh, the toe box is not as stiff as I thought it was. I thought it was a steel toe, but I don't believe it is. Now, one thing, and of course the sole is pretty worn out on these, and it's very slippery. But one thing I do like about the Tour Master, they provide you with this little loop that kind of helps you pull the boot on. And here you can see a comparison of how much Velcro there is on the Tour Master. I'd say maybe half as much Velcro as there was on the other boot. You can see the Velcro on that uh, Chronox boot there. Um, these boots go on pretty easily. I wish they had that little loop to help you pull them on, but they don't. Lots of Velcro to hold everything in place. And these boots are a little bit taller than the Tour Masters. And I forgot to mention, they do have some reflective piping in the front of the boot, which is pretty nice. I'd say they're, I wouldn't say they're comfortable for walking, but I've never had a pair of Tour uh, boots that were very comfortable for walking. The Tour Masters aren't that comfortable either. There is a little flexible panel at the back you can kind of pull on to help you pull the boots on. Uh, not as good as the loop, but it works. And that little gusset folds up next to your leg pretty nicely. And then the zipper, these zippers seem to work just fine. And then, of course, like I said, lots of Velcro there to hold everything in place. I personally think they're a pretty decent looking boot. I actually kind of like that reflective piping in the front. And then it's got that little reflective panel there on the sides. Now here you can see them right next to the Tour Master boots. Uh, here from the rear view of the Tour Masters. This is the front view. Of course, these are old Tour Masters, but you can see just how much taller the Chronox boots are than the Tour Masters. And of course, this is the rear view. So I'm going to go for a quick ride, and then I'm going to go back to the studio and wrap up this review of the Chronox boots. Okay, well, we're back in the studio, and I've got uh, my Chronox boot here, my Tour Master. These are the old Tour Masters I've been wearing for probably two years. These, I believe, are the uh, Solution WP 2.0. I think there's a newer version of these out, maybe a 3.0 that's out now. And I'm just going to side-by-side compare them real quick and tell you a little bit about my thoughts after having taken a ride with these new Chronox and walking around in them just a little bit. And the only reason I, I, I'm comparing these is because they are so similar and these are what I've been wearing for a couple of years. So I think it's only fair that I compare this new boot to what I've been wearing. Now, first of all, I did some research on the website and they refer to this material as PU leather. And I believe that's polyurethane or something like it. Basically, it's not leather. It's, it's a uh, synthetic. So, and that may be what's used on the Tour Master as well. I just don't know. But nevertheless, it, uh, this boot does feel extremely sturdy. It's, I'd say, a tiny bit heavier than my Tour Master's. Uh, the fit, I wear a size 11. It's a little bit on the large side. It's not, 
it's not so much large that I can't wear it. I can wear them. I'd say it feels to me like about an 11 and a half. If they made it a 10 and a half, that'd probably be perfect for me. But I can get by with these uh, just fine. They, you know, they fit okay. Um, one thing I, after looking at the boot, I think I did mention in the rest of my video that the, the Velcro closure on the side is probably twice as much as it is on this uh, Tourmaster. I mean, the Tourmaster just has this one little strip of Velcro and a little piece here at the top, while this one has this huge uh, panel of Velcro. So it's it's extremely, uh, it's, you know, it's sealed as far as when you close it up. In fact, even if the zipper were to fail, no, you've got plenty of Velcro here to hold this together, so I don't think that would be a problem. But the, the zipper uh, feels like it's good quality, you know, it, and, and everything inside feels soft. Um, however, I would recommend that you replace the insole. I did uh, take the insoles, my memory foam insoles, out of my Tour Masters that I just purchased a few days ago. And I put them in here, and it makes a huge difference in the comfort. It really, the insoles that come in these, and this is typical of every riding boot I've ever purchased. They just have really cheap insoles. So, you know, spend $10, $15, $20, get some good cushioned insoles. Uh, I did hold this under running water, the whole boot under running water. I didn't detect any leaks, uh, so that's good. I think it is about as waterproof as you can expect. Now, I'll need more time with these boots to do like a long-term review. The reflective panels, I forgot to mention in my introduction of the boot, in my unboxing, because I didn't realize it, but they have this reflective piping around the front, which the Tourmaster does not have. Only reflectivity on the Tourmaster is at the very back of, of the, on the heel. Uh, if you sit on the motorcycle with your feet kind of splayed out a little bit, yeah, I guess you'd be able to see that from behind. But uh, I wish it had a reflective panel in the heel, but that's okay. Um, as far as the toe box, I was concerned about the toe box. But actually, it's just as firm, if not firmer, than the Tourmaster. So I'm a, I think it probably has about as much toe protection uh, as the Tourmaster does. And this little rubber piece for if you if you do shift, if you have a shifter, is very substantial. I, I that's never going to wear out. I mean, that looks pretty tough. The only other part of this boot that I think is worth mentioning is the sole. And uh, as as far as I can tell, and I, uh, when I rode the motorcycle this morning to Einstein's to have coffee, they had some wet areas of pavement. And th my biggest complaint, my only real complaint with the Tour Masters is they're extremely slippery. Uh, I've almost dropped the bike a couple of times. You you Maybe you're backing up the bike and you hit a little wet patch in the pavement and boy your foot just goes right out from under you with these. I walked through that wet pavement and that wet asphalt and I tried dragging my feet to see if I could get it to slip and as far as I can tell these soles on these uh, Chronox boots are actually a little stickier and are not as slippery as the Tour Masters. The only other thing is they are available through Amazon I will put links in the description of this video if you're interested in ordering these. You will save some money over the Tour Masters. These are probably $50 less expensive per pair than the Tour Master WP, uh, the, at least the three, the Solution 3.0. It does seem to have good construction. Oh, and it is, it is, as you can tell, quite a bit taller. I'd say maybe an inch and a half to two inches taller up the calf or the shin than the Tour Master. Overall, I think I'm pretty impressed. They, they seem nice. I'm going to wear them for a while. I'll give you a long-term update, maybe a couple months down the road after I've worn them uh, and, and used them for a while. So if you have any questions or comments, or if you've personally owned or worn a pair of these boots, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. You know, that's it for today on this particular review of the Chronox boots. Thanks for watching today. Remember, if you like this video, don't forget to click that little like button.